Hi, I'm Sheila. I'd like to take a minute to give you some background on Steve Foley. Well, he got injured a while back, and it was a pretty bad injury, enough that scared him that he thought there's got to be an easier way to get through to these animals without them being hurt or him being hurt himself. So after hearing about the process of imprinting horses and seeing how well it worked with babies, he decided there would be a way to do this with older horses. What uh, the imprinter does for me, it does several things. Uh, the basic and most important thing that it, it'll do is you can put it in the cradle area here and it will give you the ability to take its legs away from him. He, an area to where you can work with him and desensitize him. And that's so important with these, these animals. You'll pull the horse up in here and his head will, will tie off here. He'll snap off here. And uh, we have a harness that's, that goes on him, and it snaps on both sides here, like uh, in a girth area. And there's also a strap that goes over the, the hip of the horse that snaps off in this area right here. There's a uh, britching, just like on a buggy horse, that comes around the rear of the horse and snaps off here to sort of pull the horse along. Now, before we before we move out with a horse or whatnot, we just put the horse in here, close the gate, we get him strapped in, and that'll just desensitize him and settle him down without anybody getting hurt. For years, I broke them on the wall, and you just tie them to the wall and saddle them up, and you know, we'd do this basically the same thing, but the horse had the ability to swing around, kick you, they'd knock me down, and, and all this kind of stuff. Well, anyway, we're taking his legs away from him. So he has to he has to listen to us. It's, it's, we've got it all padded in here so that nobody can get hurt. The horse can't get hurt. We can't get hurt. Uh, I've probably broke a hundred plus animals uh, so far with this, uh, just in the preliminary trials of this, and I've never had a horse hurt, and I've never been hurt. So I think that's uh, uh, that's a pretty good run. But anyway, we want to go on to uh, the preparations of the horse before, there's a, a few things that you need to, to have your horse do before he enters the imprinter. Uh, you have to be able to put a saddle or the harness on the horse, be able to pull the ropes around behind him, let him get used to that because he's gonna have the britching pulling on his rump in here. So when we get to this point here, we don't wanna scare him to death. So we're just gonna kinda move along here, put the harness on this horse, and uh, pull some ropes around his hip and get him desensitized so he's, we'll make preparations for him to go into the imprinter. As you can see, he's, he's scared. Easy, buddy. Ooh, now. Just take your time with this. Now this harness was specially designed for this imprinter. If you should purchase one of these uh, uh, imprinters, the only thing you'll need is a good halter and a good girt. You just want to make sure he, he feels it and knows it's there. You want to always make sure that these wings are open. These back wings, that's to, to give you more room in that uh, rear section. That, there you go real open so that it's uh, most of the time they'll they'll step right up and we're work, ready to work with the horse now now this allows us to get up over the horse uh, experience tells me see how that horse moved when I got up over him that's that's what causes them to come come unglued and go to buck and all that when you start getting up over that horse they uh, associate you with a prey animal Horses are herbivores and we're carnivores. So in the process of imprinting, you have to break that barrier. So it's really important to rub this horse, let him know that you're not gonna hurt him. And this cradle area, I actually, actually comfort him. When he gets in here, when, when you imprint a baby at birth, you'll grab them and they'll shake around and try to get away. And then you'll just feel them relax. Well, this imprinter does the same thing on a big horse. Takes a little longer, but it, the same 
basic fundamentals apply. So this horse you'll just see him settling down. When you're getting up over him, he'll just settle down. Now I'm not all horses they they settle in at a different rate. One horse it may take you may have to get up, up and down, up and down for two or three days a week or whatever. And some horses you can fool with them an hour and it just does dramatic things to them. I mean it, it'll just settle on in. So there's no Nothing's etched in stone to how long it takes to get a horse desensitized. She done really good. As you, as you can see, as I started riding her, put some leg on her, squeezing on her, and getting her nose, uh, she really started settling down. She's getting a lot quieter. Of course, this horse got a long way to go. It's not broke, broke by a long shot, but this is a real good start. I wish we'd have had a lot more time to, to do a lot, of a lot more preliminary work on these horses. But like I say, I wanted you to see the real deal here. A horse straight out of the pasture that had very little handling, uh, and uh, you saw what we done to them, and how much time we spent with them, and that—that's what it can do for us. Mm -hmm.